when nobody is watching there is a beautiful time when nobody is watching and the present nucleus family in the materialistic world has got beautiful bathrooms even with mirrors when they go to take bath when nobody is watching we can see the beautiful body body is very beautiful and looking at the body they intend to work hard to make it more beautiful because i tells them i is a doctor the i tells them look your body you have a belly you know, a pot belly fat is excess and you know it is not looking beautiful is nobody need to tell you about with the same time when you wear wear your dress and you go outside and people tell you you get more and more confused but when you yourself look into that you find the truth such is the beauty hence the po- all the poets go to silent places to write poetry because they can write the poetry in reality writers also tells the same story in a calm and quiet place i intend to write yes recently shashi tharur was telling yes i go to a silent place lock myself so that i can write the book everybody has got chanchala because of this chanchala they have to go to the silent places and hearing this they all the people ran to the himalayas thinking they can become great maharishis what is the purpose of becoming great maharishis just to stop the chanchala and once you stop the chanchala of your mind and once you stop listening to the two hand clap of the people you listen to the sound of the one hand clapping once you reach that stage that you have to every day clean your pipelines your vessel your plates which you have eaten your food the moment you ask another person to wash your plate you they will not be able to wash your inner plates in that chanchala they all rushed up to the himalayas and once you empty it up you find the emptiness in your body that's the first time you realize your body has got a massive power to roar like a thousand man warrior and that thousand man warrior can wipe out uh, quite a lot of tears in this world if you couldn't at least feed them the way you express and you move you rejuvenated a lot of people including the nature please try to understand when nobody is watching and once you reach the stage then you can come down you can be with your family in front of the family when the noise is going you write a poetry that is the most beautiful poetry because that sound doesn't disturb hence all the students who have been taught to learn by heart and do their homework so they become a slave and homework should be the same answer what the teacher has said not the creativeness of the child if the child has to write their own words no teacher will give them marks it has been continuously punched hammered into the child's brain to tell them that you need to have the chanchala when nobody is watching when you are sitting silently everybody rushes up to the child this is the 19th story of the zen fresh zen bones written by paul ribs the first principle when one goes to a bako temple in kyoto one sees carved over the gate the words the first principle the letters are usually large and those who appreciate calligraphy always admire them as being a masterpiece they were drawn by kosen who 200 years ago when the master drew them he did so on paper from which workman made the larger carving in wood as kosen sketched the letters a bold pupil was with him who had made several gallons of ink for the calligraphy who never failed to criticize his master's work that is not good he told kosen after the first effort how is that one poor worse than before pronounced the pupil Cause and patiently wrote one sheet after another until eighty-four first principles had accumulated, still without the approval of the people. 
Then when the young man stepped outside for a few moments, Cochin I, Cochin thought, now is my chance to escape his keen eye. And he rode hurriedly with the mind free from distraction. The first principle, a masterpiece pronounced the pupil is, when nobody is watching, when you go for the clap, is, sound only happens when you have this, sound of the one and clap, you become the master. That is the time you become a doctor, a philosopher, a real father in the house, head of the family. You become the real head of the family of your body. And then I think yes, there is no pain. When there is no pain, I think truth prevails. Because there is pain because when there is pain you understood the yin and the yang sweetness and bitter like in our ugadi sweet and bitter kahi and sihi is taught, taught to everybody only when these two are there there is deeper try to understand to try to make every child write a poetry of his own let teachers understand homework means let the child write his own words, which you make understand whether the child understood or not. Appreciate it. Allow the society to sit together. Not when somebody is watching. When you reach, the child has reached that stage. <coughs> when the child is not for the clap, or for the certificate or for the degree, then that person can sit in the meeting and you can see all problems are solved because you become so creative, not in the democratic functioning of the opposition leaders and the ruling party shouting at each other. And then once they shout at each other when no things are happening, when people and the religious leaders pinpoint a fact they start attacking the religious temples, churches, masjids. They lost all love and affection and respect for anything and everything. Those days are called the Kali Yuga, which is still going on. Come out of that Kali Yuga. Allow yourself to just write a poem every day. Or the scenes, what you are seen. And then you find peace. That piece is called Purnamada, Purnamita, because everything you wrote, everything what you do, you know, it has got a finishing touch. In that finishing touch, that Purnamada, Purnamita, you find peace, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. The first principle.